This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Kujawsko Pomorskie. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC only. Let's read a little bit of the description. It says this map is inspired by central Poland. Here you'll find fields of various sizes, three villages, a few meadows, and much more. This map is inspired by the atmosphere of the middle 90s. On this map, there are 56 fields several meadows, three villages, a few cell points, sawmill, interesting places, forest, and this map is listed as being compatible with the Seasons mod. Now we'll have to say that I take a little bit of exception in that, in that I wouldn't really call it compatible with the Seasons mod, just say that it will work with the Seasons mod from the standpoint that you can play with Seasons. This map does not have a Seasons mask, so you will be playing with a little bit of a limited mode and the fact that you will not have hay or straw rotting on the fields. Now, before we get into the map, this video is brought to you by Will Houseman. Thank you for being a farm baron. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. We're gonna go ahead and pick the mods we typically use when we take a look at these maps. And I will say while we're loading this up that I did load this map up in farm manager mode. And basically what you have is what you're going to see when you load on in here in new farmer mode, except for the fact that you don't own any land. The main farm is set up exactly how it is. We have farm equipment there also. So the only difference is the ownable land. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. We'll zoom on out, you're going to see that this map is not quite a full size map because the area outside of the map here is non playable. In fact, the only playable aspects of the map are right here, going over here to the southeast of center. Now, we do start out by owning all of the exterior area of the map, and it is priced at $16,288,000. Shockingly, we can indeed sell all of that. So if we wanted to, we could start with a windfall of cash by basically selling the unbuyable land. We can also go back in and buy it back should we so wish, but we're just gonna leave it set as is for now. So we also own on new farmer mode, fields three and four, $36,000. Field 13, 18,400. Field 30, for $77,000, field 31 for 53,000, field 36 for $28,000. We take a look at some of the other fields on the map. Field 50 is the largest field on the map at 31.68 acres or 11.62 hectares, and it is $641,000. Then we have smaller fields like field 34, which is just simply one acre in size, 20. $1,000, field nine, 8.54 acres, $172,000. And you kind of get the gist. Now we start out here, we do not own the farm where all our equipment is at, but it is right here. It is $9,500. Now just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and buy all the unbuyable land back. So that is exactly how you will see it on new farmer mode. If you start in farm manager or start from scratch, you don't own anything at the start. So you can take a look here at our crops. We start out with all of the main crops available to us here on Farm Sim 19. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see how the generic soil map applies to these fields. You can see that in the south and north, we have a fair bit of silty clay and loam. And then we have a swath of sandy loam and loamy sand here towards the middle. Take a look at the prices screen. You see we have two main cell or two main cell points for the bulk of our grain crops. We have a dedicated cell point for potatoes and sugar beets. We also have the spinnery for our cotton and wool, our egg cell point, and a unique milk cell point. Do have a sawmill to sell wood chips at, and the map does not have a biogas plant, but we can sell silage, hay straw, and grass at the barn. 
as well as our straw and hay pellets, should we wish to play with the straw harvest add-on mod. If we take a look at our starting equipment, you can see it's all fairly new. All of it's well-maintained and none of it is leased. We do not have any animals at the start and the map does indeed have contracts. Let's take a look at that starting equipment. Start out with the Fent Fabret 511C and the Fiat 1300 DT. So our tractor's range in horsepower from 115 to 150. We have the Bison Super Z056 Harvester that is then paired up with the Z056 Grain Header, the HW80 Trailer and the 1978 Pickup Truck. We have a Polymag 300 Cultivator, the Agrisim Combo Plow 3 meter Subsoiler, we have Amazon D830 Seeder, the Coon Fertilize Sprayer, and we have a weight and a sleep trigger. And that is pretty much our starting equipment. If we go into the placeables, you're going to see that we do not have any custom animal pins. Nothing here in the miscellaneous. Nothing in the silos. Nothing in the decoration. Guess what? Nothing in sheds. But we do have a placeable sleep trigger. So on farm manager mode, then you'll be able to place a sleep trigger because the sleep trigger is not pre-placed at the start. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of take a stroll down the street here. And uh, the main farm is coming up here in a block or two. We'll go ahead and take a look at the farm. And then we'll do a fly around and come back to the shop. So here is the, uh, the main farmyard. We do have a sleep trigger here around back. See right there on the door. We are not tired. We have our harvester header and our nice pickup truck. There isn't a silo here, so you're going to be basically needing to sell your grain right at the outset or put down a silo somewhere. We've got our harvester, our trailer, we have our weight and subsoiler, cultivator. And the rest of our equipment should be in this shed right here. Our two tractors, our cedar, and our sprayer. Let's get a little bit of altitude, and then we will do a little spin around the map. Well, a fair bit of what we see is outside of playable bounds. And you see, basically, we are going to be working with a lot of uh, really kind of run down and uh, just real rustic type environment here. Let's pull up the main PDA and you can basically then get a gist for the um, for the playable area. So these fields down here, field 24, directly below us. Let's go ahead and just check if this utility pole does or does not have collisions. It does not, because we can just go right on through it. Then we have field 23, 21, fields 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here are the two fields that we own at the start. Some of the fields we own at the start right there. And then we head to some bigger fields. So this map has a lot of rolling hills, especially on the fields here. And we have one of our root crop cell points over here at this warehouse factory area. We have a gas station directly below. You get water out of the water tower there. And then we have some more cell points within here. I will say that probably the most difficult aspect of this map is going to be that none of the cell points have trigger markers. So it might take a little bit of experimentation 
for you to locate those specifically. Now field 13 is right here. It is also a field that we own at the start. There we have field 50, biggest field on the map, right there. So the bottom of the field, or the bottom of the map, the southern part of the map, has the biggest fields. Here we have the second village. So when it says the map has three villages, we've got one here, one there, and then one over there. So a lot of these, these villages are really close together. They all kind of merge together into what feels like maybe one particular village. Over Animal Dealer down below. Now I have to say, I'm really not sure what this facility is directly in front of us. On the PDA, it looks like it kind of has a steering wheel with some waves coming off the top. Oh, it says PKS, and it looks like a steering wheel, but that's not the shop. The shop is way up here. So I'm not really sure what that is. We do have churches marked on the map. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm not really sure what this particular icon is supposed to be representing. One of our grain cell points is directly below here. Then we have the sawmill. Right there. I did not see a place to sell logs at the sawmill. So I think the only thing we can sell there is going to be our wood chips. And then the shop is directly below right here. Now something else that I did not notice or did not find when I was doing my initial reconnaissance of the map is I did not find a workshop trigger down here at the, sh at, the f at the shop. Maybe it's inside of the building here. Now this building doesn't have any collisions on the doors, okay. The actual shop trigger is around back. Well, that's interesting. So here we have the shop trigger. And right there is the vehicle spawn point. Let's just see, do any of these doors work? I don't think so. So yeah, I'm not really sure if there is a workshop trigger. I'm definitely not seeing one down here at the shop. It looks like you may be destined to be selling your vehicles from the, uh, the game menu. Gonna make our way across here to the first stall point, which is right here. So again, like I said, not a lot of these cell points are marked with markers. This particular one is, but not a lot of them are. And that particular cell point is going to be, is that going to be for our milk? Cha-ching! I was right. We have a grain cell point right here. Got an interesting loop out of here, kind of like this just dirt road coming back up and around. Oh, here is our workshop trigger on the other side of the, sh of the road. Very interesting. It'll be way over here. Now where is the actual, okay, the actual trigger itself is right here. So the workshop icon is basically anchoring 
a corner of that trigger. So I'm glad I found that for everybody that would be interested in playing this map. No doubt you're going to be interested in knowing where that trigger might be. Let's go over here and check out the sawmill, then we'll double back. Here, here we have our wood chip cell point, and like I said, I did not see on my initial reconnaissance any information that would indicate where to sell logs at. It's not inside the building here. No traffic that I have seen so far. Oh, what happened there? Now we're coming up here to, I believe this is our egg cell point, which is right here. Let's go ahead and just validate that. Yep, there we have our egg cell point, which is literally right where we are parked at. That's sad. Do you like do you like this building where we can see on the inside of it? A little convenience store. Almost looked like a liquor store, but then had bags of chips <laughs> for your munchies. Now, as a frame of reference, our Dart Farm is right over here so there we have our starting farm right down the street from the egg cell point that is the bus stop where we start our career at here on this map And we're coming into village number two. Here you can see the rolling hills of the fields. Now we're coming into this big factory area. a cell point around back and the trigger for that one is going to be right here so here we have our potato cell point and then we'll continue down this way to get to what is likely our sugar beet cell point like I say some of these areas are really hard to find okay so so right here so what no that's not her sugar beet what is this Oh, this is the spinnery. So this is conveniently no markings whatsoever. That is the spinnery. Hmm. Maybe, maybe good advice would be to maybe put a bale of cotton there, a bale of wool, a couple wool pallets maybe. A lot can happen. A lot can, a little bit of a visual clue can go a long way. Just saying. Now we do have a water 
trigger right here. The water tower. We have our gas station right there. And then this is the other root crop cell point that I was thinking about when I was back at that one. So here you have your trigger markers for your sugar beet cell point. Oh, nice. Nice old train there. It's pretty neat. Huh. Look what I found. A log cell point. Right there you go. So completely unmarked. We've got our log cell point here. So yeah, a little bit of a visual clue can go a very long way in uh, making a map a lot more playable. Like maybe having two sawmills with log cell points at both sides would be rather helpful. That way players can... Oh, there's my buddy. I see him on all the Polish maps. Maybe the players can then decide basically which one they use or at least have a clue that they're there. Make our way around to the southern part of the map at this point. Field 13 is right over here. Let's check the ground texture on that. That's kind of an interesting ground texture there. It is a real interesting ground texture. We have a little bit of a monument of something. I wish I could read it. Now, this looks pretty interesting. That's kind of interesting. Here we have a custom crop for barley. Pretty low to the ground. Doesn't look like it's going to be yielding the greatest. And coming into village number three. I feel like I just passed through a light that's going to irradiate me. Being irradiated. All right, we have our animal buy point is right here at these doors. There you go. And then I think we have one more cell point, our other brain cell point. Uh, okay, I'm hoping... All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm hoping that the road. 
I'm gonna have to go up this way and then make my way down and around. Because we're kind of getting right over there. And I hope that I could get from here to there. And I can't. That is the map boundary. All right, let me uh, see if we can't sneak over there through other means. Oh, look at this. No, that road doesn't help. We're going off roading. Hey, look what I found. I found the road. <laughs> so, field 30, by the way, is another field we own. It's right here. So it looks like all of our fields have this interesting ground texture to them. Field 31 is another field that we own right here. Again, it looks like it's just completely unplanted. And then the dump station for this particular cell point is right here. It is going to be a side dump station right there. And guys, that is it. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of... Hold on, let me get to it. What do y'all think of Kujawsko Pomorskie? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that whatsoever. Uh, in the comments, let me know what you think of this map. I think it's it's kind of interesting. I do wish the map author would mark some of the cell points a bit better. And obviously, we we didn't even know anything about the workshop trigger, which was here across the street. And we eventually found a log cell point, which is way on the other side of the map. Whereas the wood chip cell point is over here. So that would have been nice to have seen. Uh, all this buy unbuyable land that you can sell for $16 million does make it a little bit of an interesting start now, doesn't it? So until next time, happy farming.